Hey everyone, it's the Pocket Pastor for Pocket Pods. Hope you've had a wonderfully blessed day so far. May 4th, may the 4th be with you. That's what everybody's talking about. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. And growing up in the 70s and 80s, Star Wars was what it was all about um, from the very beginning. So I've always been a fan. Um, and you're probably wondering why I'm talking about this and how it's going to lead to anything at all biblical. Glad you asked. But before we do that, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend. One thing I have to say is after probably over three decades of creating movies, uh, animations, shorts, and all the rest, I have to say they've kept a line with not getting caught up in, you know, the agendas of today. And I'll leave it at that. You know, it's always been a battle against good versus evil. We're just going to speak on Return of the Jedi in particular. Most of us remember when Luke had ventured off by himself to go find this master Jedi, right? He went to go find Yoda. And once he did find Yoda, as many of us remember, he was extremely unorthodox from the way he spoke to the way he taught. And Luke, still learning, thinking like, this doesn't make any sense at all. Like, these methods are just completely opposite of what, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi had been teaching him. And this is where it leads into, you know, how we as Christians have to learn. With Luke, again, he's under Master Yoda now, trying to learn in a completely different way. And, you know, we need to understand that you know, sometimes we're taught one way, but then we go under somebody else's covering or somebody else's teachings, and it's completely different to the, what we've learned before. Now, the methods may be different, but if the theology is sound, if where it's bringing you is on point, don't be overly concerned with how you're getting there. When we have a mentor, we have to realize that we have to be students. We have to be open-minded to what that mentor is teaching us. We have to be open-minded to the methods, even though they might seem very out of the ordinary. We have to realize that they're wiser, they have more experience, and they have clearly a better understanding of scripture. So with that, I leave you today. May the Lord be with you always.